Hello everyone, my name is Brian. I'm the author of The Enterprising Entrepreneur. And today in the studio, I'm excited to have Mr. Adrian, who is willing to share some key points which we are going to discuss about. Yes, Mr. Adrian, you're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Brian Kayongo. Mr. Kayongo, yes, please. some of your fans who have read your book, yeah. notice that you've come from far, all the way from the village making Rolex, yeah. to owning companies in Uganda and abroad. Yes, please. They've also read that you've quite traveled. Yeah. And one of the viewers that have read your book are asking how important it is to travel as part of a business strategy. It's important to travel. Even right now, I'm in Uganda. I've come here to learn, explore opportunities, and also to see this part of the world, how things are done compared to the other part of the world. So it's really important to travel because the first thing which I saw in traveling is that it helps you to meet different people. And the, the more you meet different people and the many people you meet, I look at people as capital. Because the moment you meet them, they can invest in you or they can guide you on what opportunities are available. Because there's nothing you're going to create which has never been invented. But the more people you meet, they give you different ideas which you have never seen in that particular angle. As always, you want to do something, you want to have that open mind of viewing things in a different opportunity kind of level. Another thing, when you travel, you start seeing uh, things done in a different way. Like here in Uganda, for us, we're fighting gas prices. In other countries, people are fighting to see that uh, cars which are using gas are phased out. Like California, it's having a, a vision 2030. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's 2030. Whereby 2035 something, I'm not sure to be exact. But they're phasing out gas cars and they will be giving fines for people who are driving gas cars, they are using electric cars. And that is something where we should start, all of us in the world, to start looking at. If you don't travel and see those kind of things, you don't relate to. So here in Uganda, we are fighting for gas prices. Why don't we start thinking about people creating electric cars? And that's something which can be a great opportunity for the economy and develop the country. And we don't depend on one resource of gas to move around. When you travel, and in uh, it, it is another way around also to understand how things are done. In Uganda, we are trying to fight for land. People are trying to say, this is my land, this is my plot of land. Because the opportunities are so big here in Uganda, I would say the truth, the real estate is booming and is growing. There is some little hiccups there and then, but like if you can resolve those hiccups, it's a great opportunity. But you, you go to Western countries right now, the people are fighting to acquire mass. So how are we going to start thinking about those things. You can only think about those things when you travel and see people having a different conversation of different levels. Because here in Uganda, you're gonna find someone having a conversation about acquiring mass. Apart from if they have traveled and are meeting different scientists at different level and they say, oh, you know what? This is the project which you are working on. We're working on a technology which can work on mass. Then someone will be like, oh, mass exists in this way. I can start planning to invest something in that company or do what? So. When you don't travel, you're not going to meet those opportunities. So we need to challenge ourselves to travel. And when you travel, you, you are exposed to more opportunities. You are exposed to meet different people, different characters. You know, when you have a different character, you have a different mindset. So you are able to view people in different perspectives of life. And that is so dynamic in business because you too you start seeing your business in a different way or level because you don't just see your business as just a mom and pop business. You'll be like, okay, I was in South Africa. I saw a small business managed like this. It's managed like a corporate business, even if it's that small. Their accounting methods are good. They have controls in the system. But if you don't implement those opportunities which you meet traveling, also that can affect your business. So the benefit of traveling is to, for you to acquire knowledge, acquire characters. You, you start developing different characters because you learn from, from, from different individuals. And different people have different characters of lives, which can be good and bad. But you want to learn to the good side of it. So that's why I would advise someone to travel. Travel to develop your mindset, because the more you, you, you travel, your mindset opens up from different ideas. You view things in a different way. Because I've been to Dubai, and I loved when I went to one of the buildings in Dubai and there was a saying, uh, the word impossible is out of our uh, vocabulary. That one, I'm running with it. In whatever I'm doing, there's no something which is impossible. There's only possibility. And when you do that, you see opportunities coming your way. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Adrian, for asking me that. I, I hope I, re I responded back very well on according to that, uh, your question, what you're asking. Yes, Mr. Brian, you did a very, very good job. And I think one key takeaway, yes, impossibility should not be part of your vocabulary. Your vocabulary. Thank you, Mr. Kayo. Thank you so much. We love you guys.